Okay, guys, uh, Brennan Steele with the 65 in the first round here at Glen Abbey. Uh, Brennan, maybe you could take us through what kind of worked for you today to get off to a good start, and then we'll uh, open it up for some questions. Yeah, really kind of just an overall good day. Um, hit a lot of good shots, was able to hold some putts. Um, it kind of when you hit a good, a good round like that, when you play that well, you kind of have everything going. But today was probably the most complete round that I've had all year, so that was kind of nice. Um, didn't miss many greens, didn't hit many shots offline, and, and was able to roll a few putts in. So. And one thing you were just mentioning earlier, it's uh, you're used to playing in Canada. You've played PGA Tour Canada for a couple of seasons, so maybe you could talk about what it's like being back up here. Yeah, and, yeah, I, I love playing up here. I played 06 and 07 on PGA Tour Canada now, uh, yeah. and uh, it really got me ready to, to play the Nationwide Tour, which I played 08, 09, and 10, and yeah. um, it was a great progression in my life, and, and I had some great times up here, made a lot of friends, and um, spent, spent two summers traveling the country and, and really enjoyed my time. Guys? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Um, just wondering, uh, uh, I noticed you didn't, um, on, on your par fives, you didn't birdie all of them. Um, mm. how, how important do you think that is, Brendan, uh, uh, as, as the tournament uh, carries on? Is, is it going to become more of a factor, do you think? I, I, yeah, I it's, it's a huge factor. I mean, it, it keeps guys in it that maybe aren't playing the other holes well if they can get, get the four par fives. Um, Getting all four of them is always going to be tough anyway. Uh, even if you think about them as, as four long par fours, you're, you're going to have trouble making four pars on holes like that. So uh, I got two of them, I think, today. Um, had to lay up on the other two and didn't hit very good wedges. So um, that's okay. But, but some guys that are maybe kind of struggling a little bit may, may make an eagle somewhere and make three other birdies, and all of a sudden they're in the tournament. And uh, So you're definitely going to have to take advantage of those holes. Uh, two two par fives coming in, uh, 16 and 18. Do you see those two being critical holes come Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I think it makes it really exciting for the fans. Um, a lot of change on the way in because you can really score on those last three holes, uh, which, which I think is great. Sometimes we play courses where you're just trying to hang on. You know, the last few holes are really hard, and, and this actually gives you a chance to make some, some ground up, even if you haven't played well the other 15 holes to start out. Um, so I think that'll be really fun to watch. Of course, you know the history of 18 with, with the Tiger shot, I guess. Yeah, that Tiger shot was ridiculous, so <laughs> that, that was pretty good. Okay, just one last question, just about the conditions. Um, y your impression, a lot of people are saying with the rough that it's, it's, it's almost deceptive because the ball sits down farther than, than they think it's going to. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's not really the length of the rough that's posing a problem, but you just can't control the ball the way that it sits down. Um, even just on the like the little chip that I had on the last hole, I thought it was going to kind of fluff out of there, and I caught a little bit of the ball, and it ran on seven feet by, and I make bogey. You know, so it, it's a little bit tough to judge. Each lie is a little bit different. Had a couple good lies in the rough today. Had a couple lies that that weren't so good, and um, you just have to be creative and, and figure out where your miss is from there, and, and try to play it safe. Guys, any other questions for Brendan? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much for joining us, and uh, good luck the rest of the week. Thank you. Thanks.